It is that time of year where we give our season predictions. New players in, lots to get excited about. But before we get into that, we'll be talking about our sign of the season, hammer of the year, final position. I'm going to give you a big, big thanks to the Roundhouse in Dagnum Lodge Avenue. We're a great venue. Got Pink Floyd, Dark Side Tribute coming up Friday, but they do 80s nights and, and club nights, DJs, lots of live performances as well. At my local pub, you may see me around here. So do come and check it out. And their West Ham as well. So you can come and see the giant West Ham teddy bear. You might see him around here, but he definitely won't be. Yeah, he won't be in the bar. Lurking <laughs> 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 in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Licking. Licking so, the phone. Come on down. Thank you very much, Roundhouse. Well, obviously, the season's already started. We have seen the game. So, and we have seen some signings come in. Windows still open. but I think it's only fair this year to do that because there's been a lot. Hmm. To be fair. Yeah, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to keep up with all the signs, all the transfers. And by the time people watch this, we could have, you know, another player or two in. Well, they're, they're, saying, they're saying we might, there, there might be a little surprise at the end of the transfer window. Yep. I reckon it's going to be that John Durant. That's yeah. what I reckon it is. That would be amazing if we managed to pull him off. Like, I was just sitting there. As soon as that fucking left my mouth, I Um but when he scored that goal, I just thought, oh, we should have just paid the money. We should have just paid it. But like Ryan said, they were never going to sell him to us before we paid him anyway. No, that's what I, that's right. what I said. Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, but then he scored and it's like they might. Yeah, that's why. Because <laughs> he would have been ever, ever, ever in. Yep. But let's start with most improved player. Like Looking at last season of the players that are still here that we've got, and you look at someone that either didn't have a good season, could have a better season, or had an okay season, but could improve. Who do we think is going to, this season, going to really improve and stand out who maybe didn't last season? Scott's <laughs> looking at me because he knows what I'm going to say. <laughs> Danny Ings. <laughs> That's exactly... Uh, Danny I, don't, Ings. I don't think Danny Ings will be here by the no, time. No, he might, he might not. If, if he stays, um, it'll, it'll, it'll be Danny Ings. Do you know what? I'm on the street with you. It will be. That's only because you can't think of anyone No, else. no, no. That's what I was sitting there. That's the first I can't really think mind. of. Oh, yeah, I can't really think it's of anyone. It's a tough one. That is a I'm tough one. I'm trying to think one. who we've got left. Yeah, there's been so many Tuchik. new bodies coming Tuchik. in. Tufel. Mavropanos. Um, I'd probably say, I'd like if we keep him, I'd probably say Aguirre because he didn't have a great season last year. Nope. Nope. Um, I mean, yeah, he could be an important player for us. Obviously, we've got to Debo and Kilman come in and it looks like they're going to be the first two, two yeah, to yeah. play, yeah. like first choice. But yeah, Aguirre, Mavropanos... I think Aguirre is a good shot because I think he'll suit more. I don't think he'll be here. Try and play if he is here. He is yeah. up for sale. That's, that's I think when you, when you look at when you look at the players you're looking to improve from last season, it's whether they're still going to be here because mm. it is really the ones that had stinkers. Who, who would you who would you keep out of all of them for sale? So I think the rumours are Antonio, Ward Prowse, Suchek, Danny Ings, Sufal, Sufal, Antonio. I said him already. Aguirre, uh, Aguirre Mavropanos. Who, who would who would you keep? <laughs> Zuma's already gone. No, well, they well not yet. Yeah, he is. He's I gone. Can't, I can't see if Zuma's gone. I can't see us selling Mavropanos no. and Aguirre. We we have to keep one or keep both of them because who have we got? We've got Tadebo, Kilman, Kilman. That's it. Mavropanos, Aguirre, That's Creswell. It. I suppose can play centre back, but he's not your. You don't want him to be. No. But and then you're looking I, at youngsters. I would yeah. keep. I would keep Aguirre. Um, like I said, for we, we no, saw. Like no, but the thing is, in his earlier days at West Ham, like we saw the quality in him last season. Same as this a deal. It's exactly the same as this a deal. Uh, I think I think this a deal is, is a is more of an extreme no, I don't example. Think so. I, I think the reason. Exactly same. So uh, if you're picking a Gwen or Mavropanos, even though Mavropanos has got a mistake in him, he's more fi uh, fi suited to the physical side of the Premier League, where like what Nicky's lying to with Diop. The up struggles with the physicality of the Premier League. Aguirre is exactly the same. Yeah, when they can stroll around looking good. Yeah. And they've got no, no 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 one sort of like no no Diego Costa or someone like that giving them a shove mm. every now. They look brilliant. Yep. Yeah. But Aguirre is exactly the same. As soon as they get in, start getting into a physical, they start getting nervous. They start looking over their shoulder. They start 
bottling out, jumping for, mm. for, for things and it. And like, it, it, you know, it proper rattles them. He's exactly the same as, yeah. as this idiot. Like, like, you, you have to keep one of them experienced because Tadebo might not work out. No, I've exactly. got, I've got more, I've got confidence he will, but he might not take to the Premier League. So yeah, you yeah, have to yeah. have that backup yeah, because you, it might not work never out. Never Kil- would be the one. Kilman, yeah. for me, we know he's a proven Premier League player. So, and and, and I think he's fitted in right well at West Ham. He played really well the yeah. other day. So, yeah. I know this probably goes against everything I said, but I would have kept Doug Bonner over him too. <laughs> Honestly, I would have. All right, that's extreme. I, I would, I would say Ward Prowse, um, and he's my pick for most improved player if he stays, mm. because you know he was he was used that position in a more defensive role for most of last season, which I think um, it really inhibited him. Since Lobotegi wants to play more of a higher press, that is a big strength of Ward Prowse. Like last yeah. season, we saw his strengths. I mean, that that Spurs away. The goals came from Ward Prowse pressing, so yeah, he's I definitely think, an Andy player. I think we'd be yeah. mad to sell him. I, yeah. I, I don't. I really do not get the hate yeah. against him. I don't understand so, it because he, he, he most of the points we got last season were through him with his yeah. assists, his goals. You know, I know he's not he's not a tough tackling midfielder, no. but you don't really get many of them. Ele- Eleven days. assists last season, exactly. You know, and and then look at that that start he had to his career. And he, he, yeah, his season only <laughs> fell apart when Moyes tinkered with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, 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 he's got the qualities. He lost his legs last season, but I can see this system fitting him a little bit yeah. more. You know, yeah. if he plays a different sort of role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if, like, Alvarez comes in alongside Rodriguez. I wasn't impressed with Rodriguez. I'm going to be honest. Mm. But I know we're going to talk about this later, but I wasn't impressed with him. So there's definitely a role there to be to be had. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. we're the different, completely different players. Rodriguez is going to be more your defensive player in that position, but he needs the right player next Rodriguez, to for me, is an upgrade on Suchek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's how I see yeah. him. I think he's coming. He's not going to be start week in, week out when Alvarez is fit. I could see maybe Alvarez and Will Prowse playing together a lot more with pa- Paquetar in front of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, Rodriguez, I thought he ain't had a bad start to his career. He, he went, it went a bit silent second half, didn't yeah. he? But it's his first Premier League game. Yeah, yeah. That's into the There's a, game. A, it's a, exactly. Especially when you've got Suchek by his side of you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Rice used to struggle with that sort of okay. time. You know what I mean? So, so you've got Gwed, I've gone Ward Price, you've gone for Ings. So you go for I'm, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm with Nicky. I'm with Nicky. Danny Ings. No, if he just, stays. I, I don't see it. I don't see it. But we'll see. Don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> we can, we can thing, look back on this and you'll be laughing. The only thing that improves with Danny Ings is his bank balance. Every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and his hairline. I just don't see I just I don't You know. don't see the... No, no. Yeah, that's fair, mate. Let's let's get into the young Amber of the year because oh, we've just sent a load of player, young players yeah. out on loan. This is a tough one because we have just loaned a lot of them out and I think Pox is looking to leave as well on yeah. loan. Um, I was going to shout Popsy. He's looked good in pre-season. Yeah. Um, I was going to. I, I, I was thinking about Earthy, but he's left. Yeah. Um, Orford has signed a new a contract. Yeah. So yeah. He'll, he'll he'll go go out out there's talk of him going out alone. That's why they've got him tied him down to new. Do you know what? Galerme. Yeah. There you are, Brazilian. Because he's, he's, he's the only one left. Got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, is is Somerville eligible? I was going to say Danny Ings. <laughs> <laughs> is he? Is he eligible? Is he, he's twenty two years old. I guess he is. Twenty four. Does he count? Twenty four. Yeah, he could be twenty four. Young in my eyes. Yeah, it's yeah. It, this I year, it, it's, it's going to be a cop out. Saying Somerville or Tadebo, though. You it, think it, an academy player? When you think young, yeah, man, yeah, you think academy player. It's going to be difficult this year. Yeah, if you say an academy player, you're probably looking at is it um, Casey, the centre half. Caden Casey, yeah, yeah, but he's not going to get. Well, might, mate. Might if the other two are in the he might get. You only needs one injury. And yeah, then, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it could be. Kevin Casey is good. This good is, shout. This is this is one of the hardest times we've ever had to do. Young, we've always had like a, a Ben Johnson or someone. I think so, Summerfield's going to be nailed on because he's going to be the one that's going to be in and around the first team mm. yeah. regular. Yeah. yeah, but I'm going to go Galerme. Yeah, mm. I I would go Summerfield because I think I, I hope it is Gilham because but he won't. Well, even, what's his I think it's Gilham. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say Galerme. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, but um, it was funny. I see the players all pronouncing their names, and I was just thinking of Scott when Sufal was like, "Oh yeah, Vladimir Sufal." And then you got Scott going, "Kufal." <laughs> Kufal. Can you? Can you? Bruno okay. yeah. Fernandez said he's a, a right different way. I thought. Yeah. He, went, he went for our test. My phone went funny. Who's been his crisp? Sean Dyche, Sean Dyche, right? Yeah. I've Sean always Dyche. said Sean Dyche, but Sean Dyche. I always thought it was Dyche. 
But it, uh, it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. But I yeah, think, I think, I think Gilbert, with the young whatever. Brazilian, you'll see whether he's getting the plans to be a bit part player against Bournemouth. I think mm. that'd be the tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game. That's when I, think I, see. I think that's when you'll see a lot of changes. If he's that's not even week. on the bench yeah, yeah. against Bournemouth, then, then I'll be questioning. He's, just, he's for a future. I think he might start. I'll have a start now. Oh. I probably won't start. But it'll definitely be. Yeah. But like I said, the options are limited. limited. It just shows you that we need a young, young striker. Not young, mm. but we need a youth, more youthful striker because all of our strikers are over the age of 30. Where's the youth? Where's the pace? That's what we need to address. It's coming. Um, Danny Ings. Well, Earthy, he's out of <laughs> Earthy went to... Uh, what was it? Bristol. 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 That's it. Exactly. Aston Villa. Callum Marshall's gone, obviously, Huddersfield, isn't yeah. he? So, yeah. yeah, the young hammer of the year. All right, okay. So let's let's do this then. Who will be? Who would have the most successful loan spell out of all Earthy. the youngsters? I think Potsy. <laughs> you can say them all. Potts is, Pot, yeah, Potts might no, be going Potsy. to Portsmouth, who just got who won the league yeah, one. Yeah, Potsy, I reckon. Uh, uh, I think Marshall would do well if he plays week in, week out. Kadua, uh, there's Kadua as well. He could be going off again. He's we should have pulled out of that one. Um, yeah. but I'm going to go Earthy just because you know he's a. I think he's a goal scorer. Up. And I think you'll bang in the goal. Yeah, he's the exciting one, isn't he? He's the one but, we all want to see breakthroughs to the first yeah, time. I like, him. Them, so. I like him. But he's of, also, defenders don't get their flowers when they're down in yeah. the lower league, do they? You know yeah. what I mean? It's always like, if, it's yeah. harder to, to spot a, uh, yeah. a good defender than yeah. it is if, to, to spot a good attacker. Well, I, I, I think it depends on the club and the need for the position, yeah, whether yeah. they're going to play week in, week no, out. No, but you, you, you you'll normally find that the value is like, think about like Declan Rice, yeah? Mm. We valued Declan Rice. We knew his value. Mm. But outside it, it you know, it, no it, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you've got an attacking player that's banging in 50 goals, everyone sees it. Everyone sees yeah, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, it's obvious, isn't it? Potts, you know I, mean? I think, would definitely have a good season in the chat. I, 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 I fancy Potts. I hope so, because he done well at Wickham. He won their player of the year, didn't he? And he yeah. done really well there. So it's a step up for him. It's a um, wide progression as well. As well yeah. I think to go and yeah. champion. You know. Yeah, I think it's between Potts and or I've, I've, I liked the, the, the time he gave them. This summer, yeah, so, yeah. Um, give him the opportunity. The manager, he's given him an opportunity, and he's just so man of thought. Uh, he's obviously looked at him and said, "Look, you're in my plans, but you think you know, you're, you're not quite ready yet, and you know I don't want to limit your opportunities." Uh, you know, uh, what was who's the other guy that scored at Dagenham Redbridge, Irvine? Yes, Pete. Oh, Andy, has he gone out? Yeah. Well, no, he no, might he be sold. He might, might be sold. Yeah, sold, yeah. yeah. He, he, he's up for sale. He's good. He was good. He played well that day. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, no, I don't think he's going to make it. Just that. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Even though he's one of our best players, yeah, in yeah, he was. Yeah, very yeah. He was class yeah. in pre-season. But I, no, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm going to go. Like you said, Callum Marshall. I think he'll play because you know he's a North Island international, isn't he? And um, the manager's there. I think, who is it? Huddersfield. Is Grant McCann. Oh, what oh, it's, um, what a case it's got a slice of that. Oh, it's either that or it's a, a former Northern Ireland manager, someone. So he's going to get game time. So I think it could be Marshall. He's had a good start as well. Goal and assist in his first start. <laughs> Signing <laughs> of the season. Who is going to be? Out of all the players, and we've signed a lot, so we've got a lot to choose from. When Bissaka. This season. He's going to be the signing of the season. Good one. Just because hasn't got to adapt to the Premier League. Should come in at the ground running. He played. Yep. Why is Manchester United have let him go? I still don't understand. I don't understand why they've let him go. Yeah. And then signed a geezer exactly the same age yeah. with no experience in yeah. the Premier League. I Makes don't understand. Well, he's, he's injury prone as he's well. Injury, yeah. He's, he's probably on a lot less money than Wan Bissaka. Wan Bissaka was on a lot of money, wasn't he? He got a £7 million payoff. And fair play to him for sticking to his guns and yeah, shit. Yeah, right. as well. That's, what, that's a contract that they agreed. That's yeah. why they couldn't get rid of Maguire and McTominay because yeah, they yeah. needed a big payout. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Wan Bissaka is an excellent shout. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I think um, from what I, it's weird, I'm going off one game and what I've seen, but I think Max Kilman. Yeah, I um, think fans are going to take to him like they took to Craig Dawson. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was yeah, just thinking. Yeah. Now. I was, I'm, I, as much as I want it to be full crook because I want to see him score twenty plus goals. Yeah, Kilman for me, I think. Yeah, I think he's going to be. He's going to be a bottom player for us. It's mad how, mad how we're sitting. Like, we're all boy thinking, yeah, we're going to have a really good season, really good season. And we've both picked defenders. Um, <laughs> I'm not picking a defender. I'm going Somerville. Interesting. Jimmy. So you think he's going to basically break into being a first, a first start in the level? Yeah, I, yeah I, I, I think he's going to get to a point where there's going to be a, a big choice up there. You know what I mean? Like, because at the moment it, it picks itself. Yeah, I, I think the only way he breaks into a team is one of them pick up the injuries. Yes, uh, uh, and then I, once I think once he gets in, he won't. it's his place to lose. Yeah, 
a bit like it, what happened to Ben Rama when we first signed. He's exciting. He's similar. He's such an exciting player. Mm. Um, he excited me when he come on. Um, <laughs> it, no, it excited me when he yes. came on Saturday. Um, he's the one, you know, when you think to yourself, you can just see him. Mm-hmm. I, I remember watching him at Leeds in the Premier League. Yeah. And when he played against us, and I thought he's a he's an excellent he, player. He he's a very direct, pieces. direct, quick, tricky customer. Mm. And I think at, at that age as well, I think he's going to be one, uh, you know, one to keep your eye on. He, he, he was good for Leeds in the Championship last mm-hmm. season. Good championship player of the year. One Championship player of the year. Um, goals and assists for him so yeah no, he is an exciting talent and I'm looking forward to seeing more of him and he'll probably get more of us probably Bournemouth in the cup he'll get a start and then we can really see what is he's it, about that's uh, the thing it's, it's who he's going to be up against you know if we're sticking with um, yeah, Kudus on the left you, know, you can't really drop Kudus can you but you know you see a rotations you can't drop any of them the only way you drop them is if you play Bowen up top which is in you play Kudus together at Somerville which I would like to see if I we, think Bowen would, would do well up we, we, we were saying after um, the game Saturday with the fact he didn't have to start at Tonyo he could have done that he could have played because if you look at last yeah, season yeah. when Bowen um, Pakatar and uh, Kudus played together they interchanged yeah yeah and I thought we were too static at times with the wingers I, look Antonio's got a place I think in oh, this yeah. side I think he's still got a place in this side but he's absolutely starting every week he's an impact he's, he's an impact so that he's, is no, he's, not, he's not a starter for me <clears throat> and he, there's certain clubs you'll come on against and you're going to need someone like him it, clubs yeah. like Bournemouth they'll, they'll where probably, you just need a steamroller yeah, steam he, he might not be yeah, I think he is we he can sell Antonio if we do sell Antonio I think we'll see games where Bowen is up top and you could see and there were games last season when we played Bowen up top Kudus on the right Paquetta on the left we were brilliant at some because all of them had a free roll yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm saying, I, I'm you. Yeah, but you do I miss the striker the thing is you yeah, say yeah, about Antonio coming against Bournemouth Antonio can come on against a City he can yeah. come on against Arsenal, anyone because like that, when, yeah. he's, when he's on form He's a defender's worst nightmare. He's big, he's strong, he's yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's doing the technical things. You see that Saturday. That he he done the, the physical work. He shrugged two players off. He's got the ball on his own. He's got Bowen running through on goal. And he, he, oh, played, a, he played a pass that he'd part. Mm. Like, and it's, no. it's, a, it's, it's that's the type of thing that you see. The, you see huh. the two sides of Antonio there. You see the best of Antonio. And, and the worst. But you see that a lot. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Now, that, that is it. When it comes to that final product. Yeah. He undoes all that good work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? A lot, like, of times. A lot of times. A lot of times, yeah, a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. and that's that, and that's it. And what what we talking about? No, we were talking about signing the season. But I think that the reason as well why you said we, we, we're talking about having a great season, we're all picking defenders, is because so many of our attackers were already established. Yeah, you're right. And it's yeah. our, 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 yeah. the important sign is we had to make was the defence based yeah. on last season. Oh, yeah, we conceded, what, 75 goals last season? Yeah, so straight away. Well, we conceded two first games, so we had a good start, but... No, we need to stop that. We need yeah. to stop that. We're, we're, on, in. we're on track for 76. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. Yeah. How many goals 74 is an improvement in my yeah. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Jung decided we needed to, and, and that's the, one of the things he's done. He's gone out, he's brought a new right back. Soufal needed competition. Got a good set so of back. Two, yeah, two um, seven off. Maybe I'd like to see another left back coming during this window. But I don't think there will be. One, it's, it's all I know we've got Creswell already and Emerson. But that's it. It's whether they're, whether they're looking at Oli Scars to progress. McGuire can play left back. Yeah. So there is options to, there. That to to Lebo then to Lebo. And also and also what you've got to think as well is we know with with um, the manager that he looks to change the systems. So sometimes he does like three centre backs. Mm. You know, so you could there is potential to have. And Aguirre, Kilman, Torivo, or you know, uh, and Mavra Panos, you know, you could have that to yeah. Rebo. To, to, to the oh, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce half their names. To Debo. To Debo. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah. But how does someone call him Talibo? To Lebo? To where they give the L from? Is it a D? Yeah. 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 So just saying, right? Lebo, we broke it down. Should we just call him Todd? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Toddy. We're going to struggle if that's one of the other names. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so some good chats. So I'm saying. Kilman. You Somerville. Said, Somerville. Kilman. 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 <laughs> Kilman. Wambasaka. Wambasaka, yeah. So, some, some good shouts good there. Shots, oh, I won't do that. Okay, so top goal scorer. Let's see who's going to bang in the most goals. Is, you say Ings, I'm going to fuck you. You never know. Um, um, I'm going to go boring and say boat. Yeah, it's hard to look past Jack. I'm, I'm going to go Kudus. Kudus. That's a shout. I'm going with Dan Bowie. 
I'm going to say Kudasin. I literally, when you said going with Dan, he, he was, <laughs> I think Kudasin is going to be a big player for yeah, us this yeah. season. I think last season oh. he was brilliant. Hmm. This season he's yeah. just going to up his levels. And we're going to be seeing him sitting. None of us said full crew. We're going to see, see him sitting down more on a chair this season celebrating. Actually, I, 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 felt, I felt a bit frustrated for him because <laughs> there's times like. I think he drifts out of games because with us and boys yeah. with the way we was playing and he's doing a lot of it on his own and he's, he's you know, he's trying to get and I think there's going to be a point in this season I don't think it'll come straight away mm. but I think there's going to be a point in this season where it all comes together mm. and it gives him that free reign. I think when, if he's going to play on the right, wan if he plays on the left, he's got to get that little chemistry with Emerson, Emerson. Dan. Yeah. Yeah, you. And you, I, I think I'm, I'm with Ryan here. You know, I think Kudus is good. The enough. thing is with Emerson down the left, he always has that relationship with Paqueta, doesn't he? So that's yeah. when you see Paqueta drift out to the left, and he likes to collect the ball. And you see it on Saturday. Kudus can drift in. He was enjoying himself, mm. Paqueta. Yeah. You know, just getting that ball and little time on the ball, and that's what we need to do. Protect him. Don't yeah, let anyone get near him and let him have time. And, and that's what I said to you. Like, what do you want? When I said when he come off, even though it was probably the right, he didn't have the minutes and he was on the bucket, but. Oh, yeah. That threat, the <laughs> shit, that threat that he, he holds, you know, he is the person that literally can play shit for 89 minutes, but pick a pass but in the line. That, that is what I yeah. said. I was very surprised that they bought him and Bowen off because they're, yeah. they're both, and as I said before, you look in that cup final, that 90th minute, that bang. Yeah. That and, ball but, and also Antonio, who, who yeah. as a defence, you're sitting deeper because. You've got the pace of Antonio in behind. I think Antonio, so. after 60 minutes, oh, yeah, 70 exactly. minutes, yeah, when the, when the defenders right, had their, yeah. their, you know, their shell in. It was the right decision. Bowen as well. Yeah, you're right. Bowen, yeah. Bowen was poor, I think. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So. No, no, it was the right decision. Yeah, but it, I'm just it saying. could be either of them. I think both of them are going to be competing. It's, obviously, none of us have said full crew. Uh, I think, I think, no, sorry, sorry, I think it was a bit of a message sent out by the manager as well because he took the both of them off. I think it was sort of like, they give the old boys a start yeah, yeah, and he, he sort of went right. This is your opportunity. Look, I'm, yeah. I'm putting my faith in you. You show me what you can do. But when he pulled off Bowen and Pekatar, I think he's like, well, he's the captain. Yeah. He's our best player. Right. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm not taking I'm, no shit. I yeah, think yeah. it was also they played on the <coughs> international football defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they were the last ones back. Yeah. The thing is with like Fulcrum, I could see him getting a few goals this season. But the difference between him and Kudas is Kudas can create his own goals. Yes, yeah. Through full crew is someone who's just gonna poach. be in that box and poach yeah, and with Edwards yeah. and that. He's, yeah. he's more for the build-up. Like, but I like I like Kuda. I love Kuda. So I think he's, he's yeah. he, I think he 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 done the most successful dribbles last season, didn't he, with a ball? He needs quite to, a long way. He, he, needs, long he way. needs to take the games by the scruff of the neck. Like he said, he drifts in and out too much. And this is this this was the thing as well. With with if we are going to look to play the way that I think we're going to play. In a way, it's why you need wan because you saw the second goal at Villa got. Kudis is up top, way up and top. And Soufal's way Soufal, inside. Soufal yeah. was tucked so far inside because, as we said on on Saturday, because he's, the centre-halves have been shaky all last season, yeah, yeah, so yeah. he knows he's got to go in there. Kudis didn't offer no defensive cover. So this is a thing that we've got to... The problem that we've got to solve is that we want him and whoever's on the other side that far up the pitch. But... You can't afford to have to send the... wan will short out. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah. I think defensively he's better than Sufel. Going forward, Sufel is better. No, yeah. 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 Uh, and I, I think with Fulcrum, it all depends. If we build the team around him yeah. to to feed him and to get him a chance... He'll, he'll be that perfect yeah, anchor. He'll create yeah, more definitely. goals than he'll score. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I think yeah, so which well. I think... Then, I'm with. You, you think about how exciting that is with the likes of Somerville... Um, Kudus, Bowen playing off of someone like yeah, that. If you can get him right, Lovatek didn't sign him as a twenty goal a season. So no. we'd all have to see it. Yeah, but yeah. he's the anchor, mate. Because yeah. we've got twenty goal a season. He's winners. a hold up man, yeah. isn't he? He's, he's, he's someone, think, you need someone we... to hold that ball up. He's the man. Yeah, I think if we can get ten goals out of him, and probably ten assists, ten assists, something like that. I think that's a good season. I'd take that. Yeah, yeah. I'd take that first season. Um, let's look into it then. The hammer of the year. Before we get to the. F- position or that who is going to be the hammer of the year now it, it's hard to look past if Bowen for me is the top goal scorer well for me it's Kudus for him it's Kudus oh did you say I thought it was just Brian no 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 Kudus. I said Kudus okay yeah so well yeah for, like I said it could be the same or unless a defender stands out more yeah. where it's like I think the thing is with a hammer of the year is I don't think it always comes down to top goal scorer it always comes down to who you fall in love with yeah mm. yeah you know so it could be it Kilman. could be a Kilman, it could mm. be Wambazaka, it could be someone that gives their every week in, week out. Like we've seen it. Um Declan Rice didn't score many goals, no. but he yeah, always yeah. got player yeah. of the year because he give 
everything, everything. So yeah, Bowen last season, I don't think there was much choice really. No, Bowen had a, a yeah, top goal scorer. Yeah. Bowen, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to stick Bakudas for me. I think it's a big season for him. Yeah, I just I think with Bowen having the armband this season, spotlight is going to be on him. And if he if he does rise to the occasion, I mm. think people look at him as that new Mister West Ham mm. um, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and I, being that poster boy. I could see someone like Pakatar rising. It yeah. all depends on if he gets banned or not banned. Yeah, <laughs> you know. but if he stays with us for the year, you know, a full year under a new management, you see him a little bit more. As I said on Saturday, he's enjoying himself a little bit more. He's getting a bit more of that free space. Mm. He's floating in that in that little gap. He likes a little dinks over the top. You know, when they get people like Somerville and and Kudas yeah. on the same wavelength as him, which they will. Yeah, 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 you, yeah. You'll see him start, and and he could be he could be back to his magical best this year, but. He could also be Bamber like. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? He might not be hammering and up. He might be up the book, up the uh, yeah, you know, job you know set. What? I'm going to throw a curveball and I'm going to say Alvarez. Yeah. Because mm. of the, the, the amount well, of. Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> of the amount of work that he does. Yeah. You know, it's all going to be. Like I said, it goes back to what I said. It's a yeah. fan's favourite, someone that we see yeah. giving a shift. They ain't got to be the best player on the pitch. No. They ain't got to pick out that ball every time. But as long as they're giving it, yeah, yeah, Alvarez yeah could be a important. shout. I just want to see him do you know be what, available. Do you know what the only thing is with him? He's been flirting with Man United. Is he? Or his agent has, yeah. Yeah. But he's, yeah that's what agents do. Yeah, 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 I know. But I'll be honest, mate. I don't, I don't see Alvarez going. I think no. he's a key linchpin. I, I, the injury's done him. He yeah. ain't going to be back to after the transfer yeah, window anyway. Right. But, but yeah. he's, you know, that, that that could still play on people's yeah, minds. Yeah. That, that he's yeah, been yeah. flirting with Man United. He was saying, "Well, let's but see what happens and all that." Similar to Packers played in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of know. course, yeah. It's it's one of those. Kuhn just been flirting apparently. No, yeah, other clubs. yeah. But it's the agents what they do, don't they? Yeah, you yeah. can't help it. Yeah. Um. Okay. So yeah, I've said Bowen, Kudus, Kudus, Alvarez. Alvarez, nice one. That's, that's a shout out, that's got, though. That's, 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 a, that's an out, out, out of Yeah, box, I just it? want to see him play more games. Obviously, he misses quite a few games with yellow cards. And when he comes back from international duty, he has to miss a few games, then he doesn't travel so far. So, that is also the same right. problem with Regis as well. If you think they're our two old in midfield, yeah. both of them play South American teams. Yeah, but both they're always chilly with these. They're both ones that are going to be coming back late every time. Yeah, so, especially yeah. if we have like. Oh, he's Brazilian. Alvarez, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's, that's Teddy, North America, isn't it? Well, it's that side of the country. <laughs> but, 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 but Paquetta misses, don't miss the games like Alvarez misses the games after international duty for some reason. I don't know what it is. Well, you know, after after Alvarez Because he, he was the last one back. Yeah, why. no, I'm not talking about this season. I'm talking about like, last, last season. Yeah. Every time like, it was an international break, Alvarez had to take like, a week Mexico off. That's because always seemed to play later. Maybe he's been tired. Yeah. 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 He's been on the tequila, mate. Mm. That, that, that is, that is aye, aye, aye. When you look at them in international breaks, three of our midfielders all... Do you know no, what? Yeah, don't worry, Scott. You ain't got to wait late. There's an international break in like two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see. Do you know what it is as well? And people are going to laugh. Brazil don't play a lot of their games in Brazil. They go to like the Emirates yeah, yeah, yeah. and like Nottingham yeah. and things like that. I've seen them. But so that's uh, so do Argentina. Yeah, that's true. Mexico. It's just Mexico is always out uh, in America. Yeah, but no one's interested in Mexico. Before we get to the big one, um, final position, how we're going to do in the cups? The we're in the Carabao and the uh, FA Cup. Now you're up this year, are we? Yeah. Um. It's a tough one. Are we Semi-final going to win of which comp? Carabao. We like the League Cups. Yeah. yeah. Semi-final. Do we? Yeah. Quarter-final. We're, we're the most. We're we're the team that's been in the most semi-finals without winning the competition. I think. Well, how do you? What, I'm on top. Yeah. They've well, been in a lot. I'm sure. Well, I'm sure that's the stat. Most really? Semi-finals in the League Cup. When was the last semi-final we was in the League Cup when we lost to Birmingham? I think so. Yeah. I was fucking. I know. It's so it's it is, ago, when you, I'm sure it is stats-wise. We've been in the most... No, no, after that, we lost to City 7-0. Uh, 11-0, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Roger Johnson's still back it up. <laughs> I just see him go down there. <laughs> <laughs> <eight backwards. laughs> Wait for that. <laughs> I'm on my way second lap now. Um, I don't know. Carabao Cup. I, I feel like That's a little semi. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can see us getting to the final with that. I think, Carabao. Yeah, like just no Europe this season. We've got two competitions to focus on. I, I, I can see us doing well in the Carabao this season and maybe getting to like the quarters of the FA Cup. Yeah, I said quarters. Semi and quarters. 
Ryan's I'm thinking being too deeply open. about this. Um, no, I don't think you are because I think I think there is. I think the semi final of the Carabao Cup is achievable, and we've got we we well, we get in the squad depth to do yeah, it, yeah. to be able yeah. to put teams out yeah. like the good team out in the cups and the. It's such a shame. I'm going to say FA Cup fourth round. Do you know what I was thinking? Yeah, so, uh, to, to a poor side what, as well. Like a little Preston or something? Yeah, I've got a feeling. <laughs> we ain't had one for a no, while, have we? we uh, and then West we're... Brom, wasn't it? What was the last no, one? No, I'm yeah. like lower league side. Yeah, they were our lower league. They were fourth round. No, because we're going to get, like, we're gonna get like the... I'm on about like low, like a low, low, low. No, FA Cup fourth round, we get someone like C or something away. Yeah, go out. And then we're going to win the Carabao Cup. Yeah. Good shout. Oh, that yes. was. Yes. Good shout. I hope it comes through. I would, do you know what? I almost want to win that more than the, the FA Cup because we've never won it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? To yeah. have that, even though the FA Cup is more for And we're going to beat a London team in the final. I don't know what London team. Chelsea. Ooh, Big shout. Chelsea. We're going to beat a London team. It's going to be a London final. West Ham first season. Whoever. I can see that being Palace. Chelsea. For some West reason. Could you imagine that? West Ham Palace League Cup final. I wouldn't want to lose it, Scott. Last no. time I went to a Palace West Ham. Final was a playoffs and they beat us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get yeah. Chance yeah. To yeah. Went to the Euro. Went to the Euro. Then when we beat, we beat. Who? No, that's we what beat. I'm saying. Last time we, we beat, we beat Preston. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that's right. And Neil Shipman he scored. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, so. yeah, that's that was the most miserable so, time I've ever had. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to go court finals of the Carabao and we'll get. You won. This this video will go out. This video will go out. Oh, we're getting knocked out of the ball. In the Carabao, it is risky. It is risky. Then when you go next. Yeah. Make sure you edit this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, that's the fun of it. It's I the fun think, of looking back. We're going to get knocked out to Bournemouth. Edit that bit in <laughs> if we do. <laughs> no, nah, we won't get past <laughs> a second. Well. Yeah. So, no, I, yeah. I, do you know what? I either feel final or I'm leaning towards a bus winning the Carabao. I, like, uh, I'd like to see us win a domestic cup, especially at Wembley. Like, uh, Look, Prague and the Conference League was m- magical. Mm. But to see West Ham win a domestic cup at yeah. Wembley, yeah, you know, the only... Tr- Thing we've seen us win at Wembley in, in recent times is the playoffs, mm-hmm. which is magical. But to win a to the FA Cup would be a dream, oh, but yeah. the Carabao Cup is a it's a nice second. Yeah, exactly. yeah. you and look, guarantees so. European football and it's a trophy. Yeah, so and, times said, you can't we have won. and and also he's done in March. Yeah, yeah. Good so, time. Boy, happy birthday. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> so right, the big one, the big one. Where West Ham gonna finish? Time this is the time of year for Nicky to be bold. And oh, he's just oh fuck yeah. I said eight. Like, well, I think we'll right? struggle. Uh, you said <laughs> you, you, you said different... three videos you don't you said three different videos. <laughs> no, 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 You've had that fifth, sixth, no, seventh, no, eighth. Oh yeah, ain't oh yeah, ain't eighth. Eighth. I said seven, but I've done the video for Brian and, and that's where I think we're gonna finish. I think seventh would be a great season for us. Um yeah, I just, I just, I just think it's going to be hard to break that top six. Mm. There's some good teams, like even below the top four. You've got so many teams fighting it out now for that top six. It's, and it's, I think there will be a surprise team as well that will challenge this season. Don't know who it's going to be, but I think it's going to. There's going to be another team. Brian could be back up in it. Yeah, I like Brian. I, I watched them. I watched their game the other day against Everton. I had them in my thing to win as well. Mm. Their new manager. I think he's going to be a really good manager. Like they, they seem to do that to Brighton, don't they? It's got a, they a, find these young, yeah, player, like an endless young managers as well. Conveyor belt. And they, they absolutely ripped Everton apart. And I think they've got Man United at home on, on what was Saturday. Three nil. Three nil. They they should, well, it was four they got one ruled out. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. No, I just um Yeah. Seventh. Do you know what? I'm still gonna be to stick to what I said for, for Brian on his thing, and I'm gonna say fifth. Really am I'm gonna be bold. Yeah, yeah, above above Spurs, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can I can see it. What above I mean, Spurs? I don't know. I, do you, I'll be honest. I think Spurs will be a surprise package breaking into the top four. I, I, Not I based think, on I, what I've I think it'll be the surprise it. package and they'll they'll drop down the league. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I just got, mu- look. Oh, well. No, well, look, as much as you know, we don't like Spurs and and that, but I I watch them sometimes and they. They are a decent team. They've got a good manager as well. And I like Poster Coglu. I think mm. he comes across really well. And again, he wins by a four-year-old Jamie Vardy. I just though, think, yeah, this, is, this is what I think about Tottenham, right? I, I, I do respect Tottenham. You know what mm. I mean? You have to show them a bit of respect. You got you know, they've been up there or, or about since for probably about 10, 12 years now, right? But I've got this feeling that, that Poster Coglu is going to come unstuck a bit like Bielsa come unstuck. Because he's too attack-minded. You see yeah, that goal yeah. they conceded on Saturday? <clears throat> yeah. That was awful. 
both defenders start drifting over and left Vardy on his own. Do you know Tell what? You, you, Vardy, as old as he is, yeah. you can't leave him on his own. Do you, do you know what I think, though, with, with Spurs? I think Solanke's a very smart signing. And I think he'll he'll be a good he'll be a he'll link up well with well yeah. with some. I think he'll do well. Um but yeah, enough I suppose. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna say sixth. Should have gone. You said fifth. fifth. What? You said fifth before. Yeah. I've yeah. heard you. Yeah, I right. yeah. Well at least that's only two different predictions. You know, I've, only had, I've only had one. <laughs> no, you haven't. Sorry, have I said eight all along? You said eighth, and on, on the channel the other day you said what? Eighth. Yeah. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, on the eighth, what did you say on Brian's video? Eight. I might, I might so said, do you know what? I might have said seven from Brian. Yeah. I might have said seven, but I, I think eight. Darren, why are you not sticking your neck out and saying fifth like this? No, because... Um, She's worried about... No, no. Than that. No, but you know why? No, the reason why I didn't say fifth, well, the reason why I said fifth initially, because I, I was in a rush. Like, I didn't have time to think about it. And I thought, Man United... You didn't have time to think about it? Yeah, I what didn't. What did you do it? I had to get it, I had to get it out. I just went and I went, bollocks. He's an idiot. Oh, shit. No, because there was a oh, deadline shit. for the odds checker. It was odds checker. No, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm there was sorry. a deadline. There was, no like, there was pressure in me. Oh, right. But Man United, I had us above Man United, but they just always find a way. They always, we are the ever finish above them. Have we ever finished above once, I think? Was there once where we finished yeah, sixth? No. Like, I don't finish above. Not in Premier League. Not in Premier League. No. Yeah. Never in the Premier League era. So it's hard for me to look past We're Man United. Above in the Premier League. Was it when we finished on the billets? Did we finish above we went? Yeah, I think we... No, well, no, they no, actually, no, I don't think we did. No, no. they didn't. No. No. They, they, they I know what you mean. They always seem to scab it somehow. Yeah, they're jammy bastards. Yeah, they're they're jammy, so jammy bastards. Fifth, so I, I'm going to say no, six. Six, six, eight, 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 eight seven, fifth. We'll get five, six, seven. Let's do it, baby. Well, listen, hopefully like one of us all right and you're on this one. Yeah, yeah. I hope I got wrong. I fucking love it. Who's your Premier League winner? I think... Oh, I don't want to say it. I'm, I'm saying, yeah, I, I know what you said. I'm saying Man City. Yeah. Um, I Looking at them, they've just signed Gundogan again. Have they? they yeah. yeah. They've signed him Man, back. Mate, they, was... they looked like to well, be... That changes in... everything. <laughs> they didn't that get... changes everything. They didn't get out of second gear against Chelsea. Yeah. They were comfortable. But you see, it's Chelsea and Chelsea are poor. Yeah, but they had some good players. Like, I think that's... Some... Chelsea, Chelsea have always had good players. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm saying they was they was looking good in in certain phases of attack. In Cuckoo looked good, all of that. But I think Man City, yeah, yeah I like think City, one, so. City for me. Just I don't know. I mean, Arsenal will push them again; they'll come close. But yeah, the only way Arsenal win the league this season is they need to take six points off City, and they need to stop losing games like they did to us. They lost to us and Fulham mm -hmm. within the space of a week. If they would have beat one of us. We'd have won. They'd have won the league. They yeah. just signed Obama, Obama as well. He's going to bag goals for them, isn't he? Yeah, Sam. Um, <laughs> bag, 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 bag his cash up and fucking... <laughs> I, I, I can't see past City. Really, really can't see past It's getting boring, isn't it? Yeah. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm boring Arsenal. Than Arsenal. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Arsenal, you just Arsenal. said the sign of good one changes everything. No, but I'm going to... I've said it now. Nothing changes nothing. Arsenal will push them. And as I said, the only way Arsenal win the league is they have to be CEO home and away. After there, I just, I just, I, I know they, I know they improved past all last season, but City, when they need to win, they win, and sometimes I when just, Arsenal need to win, they change. I just got this thing, this feeling that Arsenal are, are learning their lessons. Do you know what would change my mind if Arsenal somehow get Ivan Tony in before the transfer window? If they get Ivan Tony, that changes what is it everything. With the Tony thing, no, no, no one seems no, to want him. Sell the other. He now. wants too much money, doesn't he? I think he's only got a year left on his contract to Brentford. They want to cash in, but he wants too much money. He wants like a quarter of a million pounds a week. Yeah, they're still touting 50 million for him, look like a year left on his contract. So That'll be 30 by deadline day. I'll if he you. wants that much money. Yeah. The, the, the thing is, is that if he goes to Arsenal, it gives him a different dimension that they ain't got. They've been struggling with that. Reckon we could sign him. I wouldn't put it out. I don't think he'd come to us. Not on this day. I, don't, yeah. I, I think he'd... Million for a week. I don't we think we ain't paying that. that. Is it no, yeah, it depends on who we get off our books, man. Like, we've got people on big money. We've got like, well, we'd have to, we'd have to get your fucking hammer of the year or whatever. Yeah, like, the Ming's off the book. But, yeah, the yeah. thing is, the problem is to get to get someone like Tony in and pay him that's ridiculous amount. Of money, I don't want him. You're going to ruin the entire pay structure. How could you not want Ivan Tony? Because of what he done to Brentford, and he'd, he'd just do it to us. What? 
and he said like, like Brentford. Like Brentford, yeah, and all that. All so, players do that, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Like, 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 like you always say to us in the yeah. like you always say, yeah, but he comes sometimes through, you need a bastard. And he'd bet on himself yeah. to do it as well. No. Imagine having them two. I, 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 I wouldn't be able to suffer someone like that. He yeah. drives me mad. Yeah. Yeah. He scores the winner. Yeah. Yeah. He scores the winner. He's all smiling. Is that it? Walking around with Tony on the back. No, but if he can't, it's not my decision. No. But I'm just saying, if it was my choice, I wouldn't I wouldn't suffer something like that. But if he comes, he comes. I'm, I'm not going to sit there and go, boo-hoo. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Yeah, he what he does, and we win the Premier League. And uh, that would be something. Uh, yeah. But yeah, look, we'll, all, we'll, we'll come back to this next season. We didn't come back to our season. No, we didn't, did we? But we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at that next week. Yeah. We'll have a look at that and we'll come back to it. And we'll come back on this and see how right or wrong we were. It's always hilarious, especially Nicky. Good value at the time. That's why yeah, he's going to me, Someone sent me a clip of my one and I said, call the finals, you wrote the league and we're finished nine. You've done all right. Yeah, yeah, you've done, done well. well. Yeah, yeah well. he used, Ryan usually does well on this. He's yeah. fucking Mystic Mick. So much, you know <laughs> what? We could win the Carabao <laughs> Cup then. I'm hoping that's a sign we're going to win the Carabao Cup now you've said I don't that. think we will. Oh, for fuck's sake, you've ruined it now. <laughs> And once again, thank you so much to the Roundhouse Lodge Avenue Dagnum for letting us use the venue today. Yeah, uh, SS11. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> PO Box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Dagnum's a big place. Well, yeah, it's a Lodge Avenue. Avenue. Yes, Lodge Avenue. It's a Roundhouse, man. It's a famous, it's a famous pub. Well, it might not be to everyone, you know. We've got, we got, we got an international audience. And um, hopefully, like I said, West Ham have a good season and we're at Piamas. And uh, one thing left to say, lads. Come on, you irons.